select as many as we can. And so if your name is called out and you're asked to ask your question, um, I invite you please, if possible, to stand and then one of our stewards will come with a microphone for you to ask your question through so that everybody can hear and enjoy it. Um, I want to thank all four candidates for coming. It's lovely to see you. Good to meet those of you that we didn't know beforehand. Um, we are here tonight predominantly to hear from the candidates. So we are not going to be having too much of a conversation uh, between the candidates and the rest of us that have come along. Um, so we really want to hear as much as possible from the candidates. Um, so please, if one of the stewards asks you just to quiet down a bit, um, let's try and conduct tonight in a good um, and a fun way, shall we? Um, so we're going to go along first of all, and each candidate has been asked to introduce themselves for 90 seconds. Um, and what I'm going to ask them to do is to introduce yourself and explain what you think is the biggest issue facing your constituents in this election and what your favourite chocolate bar is so that we can know what to get you. <laughs> and I'm going to go along starting with Claire over on the right. Hi, I'm Claire Davis. I'm the Green Party uh, candidate for the uh, general election. Um, I think the most important thing that all of us are facing um, is, is the climate crisis. Um, you know, whether we're feeling it right here in Redditch at the moment or not, um, it's, it has massive implications and um, we're running out of time to, to sort it out. So, um, you know, whether we whether, whether people put it as the most important thing or not, it is the, it, 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 this, out, this outweighs everything else, you know. We can sort out all the little bits, but the climate crisis is not going to go away and we have to yes, meet the challenge and we have to respond as the science dictates. And what was your favourite chocolate bar? Favorite I, do, I asked you this earlier. <coughs> um, I still can't remember the name of it, but it's got the popping candy in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so anything with the popping candy in for Claire. Um, Bruce, would you like to answer the same question, please? Okay. I'll start with this one. Don't really like playing this one. <laughs> um, it's the more, slightly more tricky one. Uh, I'm going to say Brexit, because I think that, however, you work with political persuasion, that is the lens through which this election is being fought and uh, impacts on every issue that I'm sure we'll talk about tonight, including the climate crisis. Um, I think I've watched over the last three and a half years as, um, like many people in this country, um, how the Conservative government essentially has turned um, the vote following the referendum into frankly a bit of a national embarrassment and that makes me quite sad um, I joined the Liberal Democrats immediately after the referendum and um, that has shaped um, I think the way that many of us feel the direction of the country is going so um, and at the same time you know we've seen uh, huge challenges facing the country that I'm sure we'll come back to you come back to this evening, poverty, uh, the rise of food banks, homelessness, inequality, uh, NHS education, all of those things. Um, but I think, uh, and certainly the climate crisis too, but I think it's the lens of Brexit where we need to uh, focus on, uh, and that's what I'll be talking to mostly about. Thank you, Bruce. Rebecca, same question to you. Hello, I'm Rebecca Jenkins, and I'm your Labour candidate here in Redditch. Um, I'm originally from Redditch, moved here in 1991 and lived here for almost 30 years, currently living over abroad in Studley whilst I'm campaigning. I'm a history and an RE teacher, so obviously education is massively important to me and having seen the cuts to schools over the last decade, that's had a huge impact on resources, it's had a huge impact on retention of staff, recruitment of staff, the ability for schools to be able to afford um, experienced teachers and this is having a huge impact and I worry for the future of the young people that I teach. That in addition is the NHS. Most of my family work in the NHS, my uncle was a GP for 45 years and I can't believe that we're on the brink of 
completely losing our NHS and it, you know, this being sold off to Trump. So that is my first and foremost. Regardless of who you are, what your background is, how much you earn, we all need our hospitals and we all need our doctors and we all need a place to go to stay healthy. So education, NHS, but also austerity. Ideological austerity has cost the lives of 130,000 people in this country. It's an absolute... Yeah. Well said. Well said.
Она нас приняла, 